Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris. This is my second video on sinusoids laying the groundwork for seismic. In this short video, I'm going to be talking about amplitude variations of a wave, period and frequency variation, as well as phase. Now there's an equation in this video, so I will keep it as short and concise as possible. Here we go. In my previous video, I illustrated a sine wave as represented by a wheel with steady rotation. I showed peaks, troughs, zero crossings, and that a wave can be fully identified by its amplitude, frequency or period, and its phase. In this video, I'm going to stop the motion of the wave. Since the wave is continuous, it does not have to start at zero time. Mathematically speaking, we can assume the wave has been running forever and will continue on forever. Multiples of pi will be our x, with positive multiples in the positive direction and, strangely enough, negatives in the opposite direction. Here is the sine equation, where y is equal to a sine b x minus c pi plus d, where a is the amplitude, b is related to period, c is the phase shift, and d is the vertical shift. I'm going to ignore the vertical shift and look at the effect of modifying the amplitude, period, and phase. I will start the equation off at zero phase at time zero with an amplitude of one. We will first look at amplitude variation. Initially, the amplitude is multiplied by three, producing a higher peak. If we apply an amplitude of negative one, the wave becomes inverted, and as we will see, indistinguishable from the same wave being phase shifted by positive or negative pi, or the same wave with a negative period. Now, multiply by negative three, and back to one. Again, but faster. Next, we look at varying the period with positive values by modifying b, which is inversely proportional to the period. You can see that varying b less than a value of one stretches out the waveform and decreases the frequency, while a b value greater than one squeezes the waveform together, increasing the frequency. Again, but faster. Next, we look at varying the period with negative values by modifying b, which is inversely proportional to the period. Right away, we see that our waveform is inverted, indistinguishable from a waveform with negative amplitude applied, and as we will see later, indistinguishable from a phase shift of plus or minus pi. Once again, we see that varying b less than a value of one stretches out the waveform and decreases the frequency while a b greater than one squeezes the waveform together, increasing the frequency. Again, but faster. Finally, we look at shifting the phase. Shifting the waveform by negative pi results in an inverse waveform, which is indistinguishable from the inverse waveform resulting from a positive pi shift. These are also indistinguishable from the same waveform with a negative amplitude and a negative period. Shifting the waveform by negative 2 pi is also indistinguishable from a positive 2 pi shift, which is indistinguishable from a zero phase shift. Again, faster. To recap, in a situation where we are dealing with a simple single frequency wave, the wave can be defined completely by three characteristics. Its amplitude, period or frequency, and its phase. These characteristics are all defined within the sine equation. We saw that applying a negative amplitude, or a negative period, or plus or minus pi shift are all indistinguishable as they invert the sine wave. I've uploaded the clips of my wave animations if you want to use them for teaching or demonstration purposes. Just give me credit. If you like my video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and even better, share my videos through your network. 
Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris, and keep rocking.